right, hello everyone. Uh, today, I guess I will be reviewing the Insta360 One X. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so when you first open it, this is the basic layout. There are different charging ports for it. This is one of them. Here is another charging port and another one. So basically you can plug these in into your phone to charge the camera. You can plug them into your computer or you can get the dongle pieces that the iPhone uses and charge it that way. Okay, so obviously one of the most important things that's in this box is obviously the camera. It has the label on it. So it says Insta360 One X. And then the other side, basically it has the on button, the selection button, and then the screen to tell you when it's on, what you're using. So video, video, or bullet time. And I'll get into a little bit uh, about that later. All right, so the next thing that's in here is the bullet string. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this end and you're gonna put it at the bottom of this to let it swing around when you use it. Um, the next thing in here is the tripod. Um, so basically, if you're gonna be making a small little video, 360, this is what it looks like. It's really small, um, pretty stable. It's kind of hard. The legs do come all the way out and then they come back in. Um, it does move around with this and adjust any way you like it. So that's pretty nice and easy to mess with, but I didn't use that when I reviewed this camera. So the next thing that's in here is the sleeve uh, for the Insta camera. Basically, um, so you would just take this camera when you're done using it or when you're about to use it, and you just kind of just tuck it on in here. Basically, you just do that so it doesn't you know, ruin the screen, doesn't ruin any of the buttons, doesn't get any damages on it. So that's pretty nice. I did end up using this when I reviewed this camera. When using this camera, the first thing that you wanna do is obviously turn it on and it's gonna load. And it's usually, uh, you see the wireless in the right hand corner, basically that's just searching for a Wi-Fi connection uh, when you use the app, uh, the Insta360 One X app, and that's how you use it. So when I reviewed this camera, I had to use the bullet time, and how I got there was you push the bottom button down and it goes to this screen. Uh, one of the difficult things that I found with this camera is that it's hard to tell if it's on or not because when you use it in the app, it doesn't show that it's on. So what you have to do is click this button and then that's when it starts. And that's the only way how you're gonna know that it's recording anything when you're using this camera. So not only on this camera does it have a bullet time feature, but it also takes pictures and videos. So when you are selecting whatever you would like to use, you can select the bottom button and it gives you the first one option is camera. The second option is obviously bullet time and then the settings. You can program this to work in video as well. It just has to show up with the little icon to get there and it'll have all the instructions on how to use it in the app. Now, when you are done with using this camera, all you have to do is hit the bottom button and then it'll shut down. So now that everything is secured with the camera, we are pretty much ready to use bullet time. So let's go see how this works. So here are my final thoughts on this lovely um, Insta360 One X camera. Um, overall, pretty good camera, pretty great to use. Nothing crazy wrong with it. It's not difficult to use. 
One of the features that I liked in this camera was its ability to have a screen on it because obviously without the screen, you wouldn't be knowing like what exactly to use or what to do or anything like that. Another thing I like is it's kind of small. It's not bulky or chunky. There's not multiple cameras. There's only two cameras on each side. It's easy to have the charging port on the side um, for it to charge. And that was pretty great. Okay, so for its cons, one thing I didn't like was how the battery loses its power fairly easily. Um, when you're just not even using it and it's on standby, it's draining the battery. And while it was using bullet time, it drains the battery as well. I had to make sure I have it pre-charged, which was nice uh, to make sure I could use it for the one video. But however, while I was making mistakes in the video, um, it just kept losing battery. And that was one thing that I thought that was like kind of weird. And I was just like, well, if I charge it for an hour, like hopefully that will be enough. But no, this thing takes up a lot of power. Another thing that I didn't like is within the app, it gives you different tutorials on how to use this camera. However, when you are looking for something specific, it's not very good at giving detailed directions on how to use it. The bullet time videos aren't that great at explaining how to get the feature to work, how to even get there from just the camera, and personally, how to even get started or how to use it. Although there are instructions that you can find just on outside of the regular internet, it was nice to know that um, Insta360 does have a feature on the app where I can look um, and see different tutorials for um, a basic to advanced on how to use this camera properly and efficiently. Okay, well, that is it for this lovely 360 uh, camera, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out. Bye.